Hello everybody, Box Demons here, and today is story time. Um, so yesterday was just a normal day like any other. It's playing Black Ops 2, and then I decided I was going to repair my old controller because my old controller, the thumbsticks are worn all the way down to the hard plastic beneath the rubber on top. And that's basically because I played too much all or nothing and turning on people and it just completely wore down the controller. And I got extra thumbsticks with the new controller I got, so I need the, uh, the Torx screwdriver for it. And the Torx screwdriver is not a screwdriver anyone has, so I was going to go out to Sears and my stepdad's like, wait, I think my friend has that, he works on cars. So we go over to this guy's house and in there for about five minutes and there's a knock on the door. And the resident who lives there, he's like, hold on, I'll come open it. And the door comes, just pounds and swings right open. And there's 20 state police officers. They got their assault rifles up. They're pointing at us. Get on the ground, get on the ground. So I don't know what's going on. They push me to the ground. The Xbox controller falls to the ground. I get handcuffed. I'm there for like 20 minutes, handcuffed, just waiting. Uh, they ask my name. They take my phone. They take everything out of my pockets. They search me. Um, apparently my stepdad's friend had a warrant out on him for, uh, searching his house for narcotics. I don't know what that was all about. I had to sit out for like 20 minutes in the cold. Drug dogs were sniffing everywhere. I was freezing. You know, I didn't have my jacket zipped up. I would actually asked the officer he'd zip his jacket up. He was nice enough to do that for me. Um, you know, asked, got asked a bunch of questions why I was there. Uh, they let me take my controller out of the garage, um, but I had to get in there and out pretty quick because they had all the drug dogs. And But from what I could tell, they didn't find anything when I was there. They were just searching everything. My main concern at the time was, hey, I just came over here to fix my controller, and it gets thrown on the ground as I'm tackled. You know, when they first came in, you know, I only saw two or three of them, and, I, you know, they weren't wearing uniform or anything. They had masks on, and I thought it was just his friends messing around with them, so I was just standing there looking at them. They're screaming, get on the ground, and I'm just standing here, uh, not listening to them for like a good five seconds, because I'm just looking, trying to see, is this real or fake, and, um, yeah, then they kept advancing, they're pointing the gun at me, so I just got on the ground. It was honestly pretty scary, um, but luckily, after about 20 minutes, I was released. They haven't contacted me since, I don't know how everything's going with, uh, that guy, but, um, I'm just glad to be home and safe. 